Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless again. I can't believe that I'm up to number 26 on my powerful tools. I never planned on doing this many of this series, but everyone's been asking for more, so I'm going to continue doing it. So let's do some tidying up first. Now that's better. So today we're going to do number 26 in my powerful tools of affinity photo. There is a link to the playlist below if you want to check out some of the other tutorials in this series. Today we're going to talk about the double click and how powerful the double click is. So let's get started. So let's create something quick, very quick. Uh, let's talk maybe, a, let's get a teardrop. And we'll do that. And I think I'll turn that upside down. I'm holding shift so it turns evenly. And we'll give it a color, let's say yellow. Or a little bit of an amber. And maybe a tiny bit of an outline, one point maybe. No, 0.7, that's good. And then next we'll go and we'll get a heart. And we'll do that, and we'll make this heart white, and spread it out a little. And now with the heart, you can do a spread here. You can go that way, but I'm going to go like that. <clears throat> and let's center that and put that below. And the background, let's give the background a different color so you can see what we're working with. First, let me shrink that just a little like that. And let's give the backgrounds, let's say file. No, let's do layer, new fill layer. And we'll give it a gradient. We'll grab the gradient tool and we'll drag down. And I think I will do on the black side, I'll do a blue. Remember, once again, this is going to be one of those beautiful pieces of artwork <laughs> that I always do here. And just for, to give you examples, so that's better. So now you can see what we're working with here. And I'm going to take that heart and maybe duplicate that again. C Control, Command, J. And I am going to arrange and flip vertically. So basically, this is my simple version very simple crazy version of a bee <laughs> so this there's, there's my bee maybe i'll put that wing below let's see how about that that's better so that's my bee and i could do a lot of things you want me to give it um yeah here i'll do this this will make it more of a bee hold on a second we'll go like from here to here like something like that and i'll make the stroke thicker and what I'll do is I'll give this stroke end. Let's see, I think there is a dot. There you go. And then I can duplicate Control or Command J. And then I can do a range flip horizontally. And we could just go right to there. So there is my beautiful B. <laughs> and here's what here's what the double click does now. I'm gonna just lock the background because I'm just doing it to show the dif difference here. I'm gonna group this. And if I do that, I'll do Control or Command J. So now, don't you hate when you have to select something and you go here and, you, and it's the whole group. And most people tend to go onto here and well, let me find that one and let me find this one and select it. But the double click does that for you. All you have to do is click once, then double click, and that's selected. And you can do that with any group. And it also works, I'll show you in a minute, with clipping masks. This is going to be a very short tutorial, but it'll be so helpful rather than trying to find it in the layer. Because if you have 50 layers, you don't want to go searching for the group and which one it, ha which one it is and pick that. So remember, all you have to do is say, I want to select the, this antenna. I'm click once, which selects the whole group, and then double click, and then I, collect, then I got that antenna. And all I have to do now is go and 
change whatever I want to change with that antenna. Maybe I want it to go a little more to the side like that so they don't look the same. So that's one thing. Now remember also, I think in the last tutorial I showed you, you can put stuff in clipping mask inside and I showed you this here. If you click the layer that you're interested in, which say is this, so I go once and then double click, I'm in there and I want to put something inside. I can click up here and then say with a paintbrush, I want to, let's get some brushes. I don't know why. Let's take this staticky stuff and I'll make my paintbrush bigger and I'm just going to go right across here and you notice it's only in there so if I wanted this guy to have texture like that it's in there but now if I wanted to select that that's a problem for me because let's start over say you pick the group and you want to change that texture inside well you double click in the yellow that's one that picks the yellow with the texture but if you double click again now we're looking at the now we're picking the texture so just make sure you have the pick tool and you move that texture around any way you want so that's the power of the double click it was a fast tutorial i hope you find it useful and please click that like and subscribe button and have a great day thank you bye